wall jumps, b hops, super jumps, tap strafes. Out of all the movement mechanics in Apex Legends, the super glide is the simplest, yet also the most difficult mechanic to learn. Its button input is so simple, but the timing? That's where it gets extremely hard. Today, we're going to learn how to super glide. What's going on gang? Coach District here, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to super glide. Today's video is going to be a quick straight to the point tutorial, so if you enjoy it and you learn something new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's completely free and it really helps support me as a new creator who's just trying to help out the community. Alright, now let's get into these super glides. Alright, first things first, what is an actual super glide? A super glide is just a different version of a slide jump you get after you finish climbing an object of any height. You can technically super glide off of any object that you can climb or mantle. Basically, if you can't walk over it, you can super glide off of it. Things that this would include would be things like rampart walls, supply bins, respawn beacons, doors, tiny rocks, ledges, literally anything that you can climb and mantle. Now just like any mechanic in Apex, there's a strict button combination that you're going to need to input. In the case of a super glide, when you're finishing your climbing animation, you're going to be sprinting, moving forward, jumping, and crouching all at the exact same time. If you're playing on controller, just a quick way to make this a tiny bit easier is make sure you have auto sprint turned on. That way, anytime you push forward on your analog stick, you're already sprinting and you don't need to worry about actually clicking L3 to sprint and go forward. Now you might be thinking, okay, that sounds pretty simple. All I have to do is climb up, sprint, and slide and jump forward. And you would not be wrong to think this at all. It is an extremely simple thing to do. But the button combo isn't the hard part. It's the timing of inputting these buttons that's the actual hard part. When super gliding, you need to hit all of these buttons in less than a tenth of a second. Not only that, you need to hit it at the exact last frame of your climbing animation. A lot of people think because the timing is so quick and so hard to nail that you need to be on PC and that you need to have macros or scripts to actually nail the timing. In this situation, that's totally not the case. I'm a console controller player myself, and I can still do it on the controller. So here's the trick to nailing the timing. Like I said before, we're aiming to hit these buttons on the last few frames of the climbing animation. So we want to pay really close attention not to the climbing part, but the very end where our legend pulls themselves up into the mantle. You'll notice there's a split moment right here where our legend kind of stands still after they finish pulling themselves up. That's where we're going to be hitting our buttons. And again, once we pull ourselves up, that's when we're going to be pushing forward while sprinting on top of crouching and jumping at the exact same time. Now, I myself use a controller from Cinch Gaming, which has four buttons on the back, and I make sure to map two of those buttons to crouch and jump. And overall, this just makes hitting the super glide in pretty much every other mechanic in Apex way easier. Overall, just having a custom controller makes gaming way easier. So if you are looking to up your gaming skills or your abilities, getting a custom controller, especially from Cinch, is an easy way to do that. And thankfully, because I am sponsored from Cinch, you can reap some of the benefits from that by using code FINALBOSS at checkout. If you want to check out their website, go right ahead, the link is in the description down below. But now, right back into the Apex. Unfortunately, the only thing you're ever going to be able to do to get better at something is practicing. There's no way that you can kind of get around this and cheat the system. You can only practice and get better at what you're doing. So, my biggest tip is literally just take whatever tips you can get from this video and continuously to practice them. If you don't get it the first try, it's totally cool. It probably took me weeks to actually learn how to do this mechanic. And then it took me a couple more weeks to get decent at it. It probably took me two months just to figure out how to do it consistently. But that's pretty much all folks. It's gonna come down to practice, practice, and practice. I really hope this video helped. I'm sorry if it wasn't too informative. It's really hard to explain super gliding. It's 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 quite easy but complicated at the same time. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see you in the next one, alright? Peace.